hi guys lens here so in this video i'll be showing you how you can set up your mptt solar charge controller and the way to do so first you will need to recognize the negative from the positive and you will need to connect your wires I have two wires here the black and the red I am going to use the red for the positive and the black for the negative this battery is depleted I would say I did not charge this battery for months it is an old car battery I'm just testing this battery with this MPTT solar charge controller now that our wires are connected to the battery we are going to connect them to the solar charge controller and before doing so I will advise that you ensure that everything is connected properly the wires that you are using for the positive is by the positive and also the negative by the negative so that you do not misinterpret what you're doing or you can damage your MPTT solar charge controller the first thing that you must do you must connect the positive wire to the battery connect shown right here so it is stated that you connect the positive force and if it happens that you don't do this sequence you can damage your MPTT solar charge controller it's very important to follow the procedure and now we need to connect the negative wire which is the minus so so everything is in as you can see so as I said this battery is a depleted battery you can see that the voltage is 10.8 and if you want to put on the load you can press this button right here and the load is on if you want to take it off you just hit this and it is off first if your mptt solar charge control is charging from the sun you will see the power is going to the battery here if we would like to go into the settings to set the parameters if we hold this down you can see the maximum power that is going out to the load you can also see the maximum power that is coming from your solar panel and you can see the load setting is on 12.6 volt so this is your load on which will activate after your battery recharge to 12.6 and this is the load off so when our battery is at 10.7 the load will shut off automatically and the load on you can see the setting is set here for 24 hours and our battery is at 10.8 volts if we want to change the load on we can set that by holding down the home button here and as you can see we can set the load on to the desirable voltage we want to at this time I am going to leave it on the default setting load off we can also set this as well and the best thing here 
you can set this to protect your battery which is very important guys the higher you set this it's better for you you can set this at least about 40% uh, level that remains in your battery out of a hundred percent you can set this when your battery is down to the last 40 percent you can set your load off this will protect your battery from depleting completely and for, for those deep cycle batteries it will help the cycle to last a longer time and your battery will last for years so this is how you can change the settings and you can even change how many hours you want the load to be on if you want it to be on for 14 hours or 12 hours or if you want it to run for 24 hours which I will be using my MPTT solar charge controller for 24 hours non-stop so this is how you can set up your MPTT solar charge controller you have the current voltage that is in our battery here it is showing that our battery is very low and it is also showing us the temperature here which is 27 celsius and that's very cool it also shows us how many amps we are getting from our pv which is our solar panel so i recommend this mptt solar charge controller and it shows us how much amp is being used by the load the load is whatever you have hooked up to your solar charge controller it can be a light it can be your laptop it can be an inverter and so forth in this video i show you how to set up this solar charge controller and i showed you how to connect your battery wires and the, the procedure in doing so and how you can set your parameters again it's very important to set your load off at a higher level and this is to protect your battery i recommend something like 12.1 or 12.2 at least a roughly estimate and also your load how long you desire your load to be on for you can set that in the parameters and yeah that's all that you need to do here and also load on is very important as well this is when your battery is low and you want your load to come back on after it dropped and turn off from the battery being used and need to be recharged so as your battery is recharging when it reach 12.6 the load will automatically come on so again i hope that this video was helpful uh, and i hope that it helped you in setting up your mptt solar charge controller i am lens and yeah subscribe to this channel for more videos and for questions and comment you can also comment in the comment section email me if you need any assistant in doing so i'm out